My, 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 another DEI goes bye-bye. Now all you liberals can go and cry-cry. Coming from me, Ty Ty. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to view my content. If you like more of the content that I put out, you like the comedy aspects I put on, you like all the different things that I do, make sure you hit this button right here so that my content can continuously be recommended to you. Also, follow me on all the programs you see listed up here and down here. And if you want to know how I put my stuff together, whether it's the camera, the microphone, the keyboard, the mouse, those products will be listed throughout this video, so stay on watch for those things, all right? Appreciate it. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know I'm going to bring y'all the news when it comes to a lot of this nonsense that got implemented into workplaces, schools, colleges, you know, et cetera, et cetera. What am I talking about? DEI. Well, guess what? There is another college that is looking to scrap the nonsense, and it is the University of North Carolina. Yes, you heard me. North Carolina. Is this big enough for y'all? Nah, let's see. I need to make this a little, okay. University of North Carolina Committee scraps the DEI goals. They scrap the DEI goals, roles, and dramatic policy shift. UNC may follow Florida's lead by eliminating DEI policies and positions, which they should anyway. All right. As y'all can see right there. Do I need to move this over? Y'all don't care about it being this big? You know, I'll move it over like this for y'all. I'll make it a little smaller for some of y'all, too, since y'all like, Ty, it's too big. But I got older people who like for me to read. And a lot of my older people that watches me, they also can't see well. No, I'm just joking, folks. I'm just joking. Anyway, another state university system is moving to eliminate diversity, equity, and inclusion requirements and roles from its campuses as part of a growing backlash to the DEI ideology in schools across the country. The University of North Carolina Board of Governors committee voted in last and i mean they voted in less than four minutes on wednesday today to repeal and replace the system's existing diversity and inclusion policy and replace it with a different policy the associated press reported 17 college campuses with unc system could be affected by this decision i don't know what they mean by affected like the only thing that's going to happen somebody's going to lose their job for being hired in as a dei hiree anyway to just pretty much usher in discrimination and racism under the guise of diversity equity and inclusion Anyway, the proposed policy indicates that DEI roles held by senior administration officials would be eliminated as they also have been at state universities in Florida and Texas. Under the old policy, each school must have a senior level officials as its system office, DNI liaison, institutional and DNI officer, and an institutional inclusion executive. These roles may go to the same person or be assigned separately. However, these roles are not included under the new policy that was voted on Wednesday. While maintaining UNC's commitment to non-discrimination, apparently not because DEI is literally discrimination. While maintaining UNC's commitment to non-discrimination, the new policy emphasizes maintaining academic freedom, institutional neutrality, free speech and expression, and equality of all persons and viewpoints. There wouldn't be equality when you have equity in there. Look, look into what equity is, folks, and what it all comes down to. Equity is nothing about nobody having equality at all. DEI is something that's ushered in. It came in under the guise of Marxism. They use race as one means. They use classism as one means. And now they're trying to use pretty much, you know, race again and... Uh, you know, sexual orientation and a sex slash gender of a person, which doesn't make sense that these people believe that there's more than two. Anywho, the new proposed policy states each school must give a report by September the 1st, certifying that it has fully complied with the university's commitment to institutional neutrality and non-discrimination required by law and this policy and shall be described in substance the actions taken to achieve compliance. Now, again, Listen to this. The university commitment, the university's commitment to institutional neutrality and non-discrimination required by law and this policy and shall describe in substance the actions taken to achieve compliance. This is the new proposed policy. So the fact 
that the new proposed policy has to state in there that they are doing this and it is required for them to have institutional neutrality and non-discrimination lets you know that DEI was discrimination. If they're getting rid of a particular program and telling you this, what we're going to be doing now with our new policy is going to have X, Y, and Z in there to where it's going to be neutral and non-discrimination involved. Boom. Anyway, the chancellor certification shall also include a report on reductions in force and spending along with changes to job titles and positions descriptions undertaken as a result of implementing this policy and how those savings achieved from these actions can be redirected to initiatives related to student success and well-being. It continues. The new policy will go before the Republican Majority Board of Governors in May. If approved, the school's DEI policy could be fully repealed. The university has already taken steps to cut DEI from its campus. Fox News Digital previously reported that the school voted to ban DEI statements and compelled speech from admission, hiring, promotion, and tenure in February. If the policy is fully repealed, UNC will follow the lead of Texas and Florida, where DEI positions were slashed from public universities to comply with state laws. In March, the University of Florida fired all employees and administrative appointments for DEI offices, which I did a video on that and had a lot of y'all pissed off. But so what? Because you should be hired. I'm going to get on to that later. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, who championed eliminating DEI from public institutions in his state, said he hoped others would follow the Florida's example. DEI is toxic, he said, and has no place in our public universities. I'm glad that Florida was the first state to eliminate DEI, and I hope more states follow suit, DeSantis said. Now, what got really interesting about this is when all y'all came out and said, that's a dang old shame. You up here standing up for what DeSantis is doing right now, eliminating black people. Blah, blah, blah. He didn't eliminate no black people from doing nothing. Want to know why? Do you Negroes and do you liberals know what type of athletes go to these big time Florida schools? Guess what? A lot of white ones and definitely a lot of black ones. Basketball, definitely football. The game is, man, are you nuts? So what do you mean? Oh, it's just shut down opportunities for black people. It didn't shut down a god dang on thing. It was nothing more than a lot of these so-called political agenda written schools who are ran by the evil ones that own almost a lot of this stuff that try to implement this social justice, sociology, communism, fascism, Marxism style type of teaching and indoctrination in these schools. A lot of y'all got pissed off. Some of you idiots are riding the wave of this all because it's trending right now. You have been so dang on bamboozled by the internet and how dopamine can be released by things you like and don't like that a lot of y'all just jumped on and rolled away for those simple purposes. I told you it was going to come to an end. DEI was discriminated it, it, from uh, based on its premises and its foundations. It may have seemed like it was all about everybody having a fair chance, but it was not. It was all about making sure others didn't have a fair chance. You can't have DEI and hire somebody based off their race and their turnaround. And we talk about things about equal opportunity where you can't hire, fire, and not do X, Y, and Z for somebody based on their race, religion, or sex. But then turn around DEI saying, yes, we can. Come on now. And again, for those of you that don't understand this, for a lot of you black people, they taking away all this. They taking away all that. So you would rather have them hire you in all because you're black, not because you're smart. Not because you're intelligent, not because you are unique, not because you can possibly add some type of value to the workplace that you're going to be going to, but all simply because you are a black Negro. That's it. That's why you should have the job. How stupid and dumb is that if you do think that way? It's really ridiculous if you think that particular way. Anyway, folks, let me know what y'all think about all this nonsense. Shout out to UNC and any other universities that are getting ready to emulate, emulate, eliminate this DEI Nonsense. Shout out to a lot of places that I work at, PRN, medical facilities, that they have eliminated this nonsense. Matter of fact, they really didn't even make its way in there. A lot of us raised hell over it. And guess what? A lot of people that raised hell over it, 90% of the people that raised hell over the DEI they try to implement into some of these medical facilities, we were all black. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I have people that I hire on that work for me. Okay? I would be darned if I'm going to hire you and simply because you black. I'm going to look at that resume. I don't even care what color you are, or what gender you are. I'm going to look at that resume and see what experience you bring to the table. And uh, that's what I'm going to look at. Your experience, which whether you have a specialty, that's what I'm going to look at. And then we're going to have you come in for an interview. I'm not going to go, oh, well, this, is a, this person. Absolutely not. Because you want to know what? I told y'all. In the end, 
Guess what color these universities, these workplaces, I don't care where it is. Guess what color they see in the end? Green. And that's money. And if these DEI hires and these DEI people there to get in there simply because of these programs and the money is being pushed out the door and nothing is coming in, they're going to get rid of the programs. Has no, they just want to get rid. DeSantis just doing everything. DeSantis is doing what most governors around this nation should be doing. Plain and simple. Anyway, folks, do you all agree with that? What are your thoughts on that? Are you glad that they're, they're people are done away with this dumb DEI stuff? If that's the case, leave it in the comments below after this video, all right? Don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Appreciate it. I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, hoping to pray on every last one of you. Have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.